We had a number of recommendations come in for a fairly new hot spot in Mount Pleasant, so we checked it out, and tonight we see what's brewing inside the kitchen. Coffee, one of the most popular drinks in the world, and I, for one, couldn't live a day without it. And it really is an art form when you think about sourcing it yourself, roasting it yourself, and making it yourself. I'm Charlie Tinker at the coffee room in Mount Pleasant, where that is their specialty, but they have somehow figured out a way to do the same thing with one of coffee's favorite partners. This, my friends, is a waffle. We're going to go inside the kitchen to see how they're made. Few things compare to the experience and the ritual behind making and enjoying the perfect cup of coffee. This is where we roast and package all of our stuff. It's pretty, it looks a little like a train. We're all about coffee. That's our main focus. We roast all of the coffee in-house. We source it ethically. In America, 528 million cups go down the hatch daily. The coffee room ensures the scores of local faithful get what they need to power through the work week. This is the hopper. Coffee goes in here. So you pour it in here. This is actually what they look like. They all look a little different, but this is the color. It smells really grassy. It is the number two traded commodity in the world. For you or for our customer to get a great cup of coffee and for us to get an excellent cup of coffee that we've experienced is, is kind of phenomenal. You might say it's where farm to table meets crop to cup. A love affair with the process that began as a simple hobby. It's a lot more involved than, than, than you might expect it to be on the surface, you know? There's a lot happening and it takes a lot of practice to do it well. In the middle of winter he's outside with popcorn popper, you know, and a wooden spoon and his, his roasting coffee. Um, and that kind of elevated our experience even more and, and having the craft behind it and kind of this like, I did this. We just never said no to our ideas. We just kind of, it just kind of progressed. It kind of surprised us how well we did. So here we are. The Cromar's focus on the quality of the customer's experience means constant innovation. Trial and error that ultimately planted its like share food. Creativity shows itself in many forms. There's so much art in, in many, many things that, that people do. Our coffee and our food is definitely a creative outlet to things that work on waffles and things that really don't work on waffles, you know. It's safe to say you can trust the coffee room to know the difference. Served with pure Michigan maple syrup, wholesome ingredients, and butter. And as for these two, with this much java slowing down, hardly seems an option. And then we use the big scoop for whipped cream because oh, yes, nobody likes you. to be ripped off. Our small success is really is a big deal for us. It's a little unreal. We didn't we didn't plan on doing this anytime soon. It was always a dream, you know, when our kids are older, we keep surprising ourselves. We just kind of keep going.